In this video, I'll show you how to use your own domain name uh, that you've registered at GoDaddy.com and point that to your website at Dundeal website. So there's um, to do this. There, there's a couple of things we need. There's one thing that we need to do on your website itself at Dundeal website. So you need to be logged into your account there. And there's also something you need to change at GoDaddy. So you need to be logged in at GoDaddy also. So um, to begin with, I'm at GoDaddy. I'm already logged into my account. Um, now keep in mind, GoDaddy, they change the way their website is set up all, on a regular basis for almost every week, it seems like. When I go to do something, they've, they've moved something just a little bit. and It's a little bit different than it used to be. But usually things have about the same name. So maybe you have to look around a little bit. It's, it may not be exactly where you see it in this video, but hopefully you can find it. If not, GoDaddy's support is really good, so you can usually call in and tell them what you need to change, and they'll do it for you. So uh, that is an option there, too. Um, so uh, log into your account and scroll down, and you should see some, something like this that shows you know, domains, web hosting. This is all the different services that you might have access to. Now, what we want, of course, is domains. So click Launch on that to launch the domain area. And this will take you to a list of all of your domain names if you have more than one. If you only have one, this is pretty easy to, easy to find your domain. If not, just find the one that you want to work with, the one that you want to point to your website. And you know, this is, again, something that changes from time to time how you do this. Now, the domain I'm going to be working with is called wholesalehomesclub.com. Now, there's two things I could do here. Um, I could click it, you know, because obviously it's a link. Or next to that, there's this little drop-down menu thing you can click and that brings up some options um, now because the things might change uh, I'm just gonna click on the domain but if you want you can get there from here so let me just point out something at this point if you have used this domain name before uh, if this is not a do new domain name you've already had a website then you might have to change two settings um, if this is a new domain name there's only one thing you have to change and that is um, and under the Manage DNS section. Okay, so that's where you'll go if you if this is a brand new domain name. Now I'm going to click on the domain because you know they might move this little menu. It might not be there. So just to be on the safe side, I'm going to click on the domain name, which opens up basically the same stuff, the same options, but um, just gets us there a different way. So if we scroll down, now this, I'm going to show you an example of a domain name that has been used already at, an, at another site, and I'm going to be moving it to Dundeal website. So there's an extra step for that. And so from this page, the settings page, um, I scroll down, and here there's a section called name servers. Now, if this is something other than, you know, it's going to be some numbers and letters probably, and it's going to have some... If it says something like domain control, then it's it's where it needs to be already. It's it's probably just sitting at GoDaddy, just waiting to be used. But if it has anything else, then you need to change this. So uh, in this case, mine does have something else, and so I'm going to click Manage to change this. And you can see here there's two options, Standard or Custom. It's selected right now at Custom, and I've got this information here. I don't want that. All I want is the Standard GoDaddy hosting, or GoDaddy, GoDaddy parked domains. Essentially, so it's just parked at GoDaddy. That's what we want. That will la allow us to make the other changes we need to make. If we don't do this first, then we can't do the other steps. Now, again, this may not apply to you. If, if this is a brand new domain, you don't need to do this step. Yours is probably already sitting at something dot domaincontrol.com. Now these first numbers don't really matter, the NS43 and 44, that's, GoDaddy's going to do that part automatically for you. You don't need to worry about that. If you click standard and save this, then you're good to go. Now the only thing is, if, like it says up here in this little message, changes may take a few moments to take effect. Sometimes I've found maybe a couple minutes to take effect. So, because what we need to do next is we need to click on DNS zone file. And if you click on this, and you get a message like this, the zone file is temporarily unavailable. Um, that means you, we haven't waited long enough. It's, it's, it just takes a little bit for this that change that we just made to take effect. 
if you don't see this message and you can make changes here, then you're good to go. You can go ahead and continue uh, with this. If, you, if you're seeing this, though, just give it a few minutes and wait. I'm going to pause the video for just a second to let this catch up, and then we'll, we'll continue. Now, if you want to check and see if it's been long enough, if it's if it's ready yet, um, you can click. There's a little refresh button on this on this page that refreshes it. Now it takes us back to the first page we were on, um, but you can check there for for one thing, and that's to see if this has changed the name servers where it says, you know, now it shows up shows up as domaincontrol.com. So that's good. Uh, it doesn't guarantee that we'll be able to get to the DNS zone file, but I'm going to click it and see. And now I'm able to, so that's great. It's a, I, I paused the video for a couple of minutes, so if you don't see it, you know, just be patient, wait a minute or two, and come back. Okay, now there's there's one thing that we have to change here. It's the a host. So you notice there's something called a host. It has a little at symbol and a number and this other stuff. What we want to do is click this little icon that looks like a pencil and paper to edit the record. So I'm going to click that now. and then this little box will pop up. There's only one thing we need to change here, this number. So delete what's there, and we need to put in a new number. Now, I'm going to get this directly from the Dundeal website um, site, and I recommend you do the same, because that number could change from what you see in this video, potentially, uh, down the road. But um, So I'm going to go back, I'm going to go over to my Dundeal website account, and from here, um, and I have this open in a different uh, different window, so I still have them both open. Okay, so from here, what we want to do is go to settings. There's an option called, oh, I'm sorry, not settings. Um, let's scroll down. It's called tools. I'm sorry, tools. Tools and then domain mapping. That's what we want to do. So click on that. And here on this page, there is a new set of numbers that we want to use. Um, it's it's down, there's a box and a couple of paragraphs is in that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste it to make sure I get it exactly right. You know, make sure you do the whole thing, get it highlighted, and copy it. And um, so I'm going to put that in here. And chances are you can just put in this number exactly as it shows up here, but just to be on the safe side, check on that site to make sure that's right. Um, so put in that number, click finish. And now, there's one very important last step, and that's to click Save Changes. It says it's not final until you click Save Changes. So click that, and we're done. So that will that will take effect. It takes just a, you know, a minute or two for that to, to take effect. Um, so we're done at GoDaddy, though. That part is finished, so we can go ahead and log out of that if you want. And so I'm going to do that. And then let's go back over to our website. Now we just need to put in, on this same page, we need to put in the domain name here. So um, so this is wholesalehomesclub.com is the one that I'm uh, using for this. And I'm going to click this option to make it the primary domain for this blog. Um, normally you'll want to do that. If, that's, if it's the main domain name, that's what you want to use. So click Add. Okay, great, and it tells us it was added, and we can see it here. Um, so that's great, so everything looks good. Um, and we can even check to see if it's working. Maybe we didn't give it enough time yet, but um, so sometimes it's, be it's best to wait a little bit longer than this, but I'm gonna go ahead and check it and see if it's working. So I'm gonna click this, and yeah, there's my site, it is working. Um, if you've been already using your domain name a lot for a website, it's possible it might take longer for this to go through, but in this case, it worked already. Uh, my domain name is pointing to my uh, my new website. So that is how it's done. That's how you point your domain name at GoDaddy uh, to your website.